Hey, so this problem is about a physics student on Planet Fitness. And you know, this is a strange world. So the physics student throws a ball. It follows a parabolic trajectory as you will expect from throwing something up in a uniform gravitational field. So the parabola looks kind of like that. This is the horizontal axis, vertical axis. And you know a few things. So it marks you this point at two seconds. It also marks you these two other points at one second and at three seconds. And they tell you that at one second, the velocity vector, let's call it velocity, velocity of one second. Hmm. I guess that's decent enough notation. It's uh, 2.0 in the i direction, so the horizontal direction. Remember that you have your, your vector i over here, which is uh, a unit vector, and your vector j over here, which is also a unit vector. You can just multiply it, right? So, and then you have uh, 2.0 in the j direction, and the units are meters per second. OK. Um, I guess they also make a note uh, that there's a point at 0 seconds. So for part A, this, this is all the information that you're given for the problem. Uh, in part A, they ask you to determine the ball's velocity at t equals zero seconds, two seconds, and three seconds. So here, here, and here. How do you start with a problem like this? Well, Hmm. There's some other stuff that you know, even though they didn't tell you. So you know that the components of the velocity in X and in Y are independent of each other. So if it started, if, if you have a, a velocity of two meters per second in the horizontal direction at this point, it is the same at this point, and at this point, and at this point, and everywhere, right? There's no acceleration in the horizontal component or in the horizontal direction, so it never changes. You know that. And you also know that, you know, just judging from the figure, I think it's pretty clear that at two seconds, it reaches the maximum height. This is also where the velocity is zero. So here it was, uh, sorry, the vertical velocity. Here the velocity was uh, up, right? But decreasing because of gravity. And then here it becomes negative and starts going down. So we know that velocity at two seconds is equal to 2.0 in the i direction, that doesn't change, plus 0, 0.0 in the j direction, meters per second. And we know that it's the definition of the turning point. So the acceleration is the change in velocity with respect to time. And remember that Physics applies, applies um, to orthogonal directions in the same way 
but independently. So this is equal to the change in the x component of the velocity divided by time plus the change in the y component of the velocity divided by time. What is the change in the x component? Well, it's two minus two, that's zero. And in the vertical direction, zero minus two, right? It's the definition of delta. So let's, let's write it. This is gonna be velocity at two seconds, two meters per second minus two meters per second. in the i direction divided by delta time, two minus one, one second. Okay, plus mm, zero meters per second minus two meters per second in the j direction also divided by two seconds minus one second. So the acceleration, this is zero, right? Zero in I, this is negative two in J meters per second squared. So as expected, there is no acceleration in the horizontal axis. And now we know that the acceleration changes the velocity by negative two meters per second every second. I guess another way, another way to write it is the acceleration is negative two meters per second per second. So how many seconds uh, elapse from uh, two to three. Well, only one second. So that means that the horizontal component of the velocity is going to remain the same. The vertical component of the velocity is going to decrease by two. Over here, because we are moving backwards uh, in time, Um, sorry, we know it, we know it, it is a two. So it's a negative two, zero, two. And over here, uh, it continues moving negative in time. So you add velocity when you move back in time and you subtract velocity when you move forward in time. This is going to be four meters per second. So I guess we can write that over here. Let's do that. So the velocity, uh, let's, let's write zero seconds here. Velocity at one second, it is given 2.0 in I plus 2.0 in J meters per second. At two seconds, we, uh, we can know both of them from the situation. Uh, both components, so it's 2.0 in I plus 0, 0.0 in J meters per second. Velocity at three seconds. We know that from looking at these two, we know that the velocity decreases by two meters per second each second. So uh, zero minus two, it's negative two. And in X, it never changes. There's nothing, there's no acceleration in X. Uh, so this one is negative. Okay, good. And at zero, negative two, zero, two, four. So you add uh, two per second in each direction. 
you subtract two per second in, in the forward direction of time. And the horizontal velocity remains the same all the time. So four, two, zero, negative two. All right, that was part A. Part B, what is the value of G on planet fitness? Well, we already know this acceleration and we know that G is just the value, uh, so the magnitude of the acceleration due to gravity. So we got that the acceleration is negative, which makes sense, you know, it's pulling things down uh, towards the ground. Uh, the magnitude is two meters per second squared. So that is part B. So just on earth, like on earth, it is uh, 9.8 meters per second squared. It's always directed downwards. On planet fitness is two meters per second squared, also always directed downwards. And for part C, what was the ball's uh, launch angle? Uh, let me, I guess we can do it over here. We have everything we need. So the launch angle, um, well, if it was being launched, it happened at zero seconds. So we're looking at this one over here. Um, these are the two components of the of the vector. Let me use green. So the horizontal component is two meters per second, and the vertical component is four meters per second. And we are being asked for the launch angle. So we want this angle over here. How do we get it? Well, we have the opposite side and the adjacent side of this uh, right triangle. So we can use uh, the, the arc tangent, right? Arc tangent. of, and this is opposite divided by adjacent. So opposite is four meters per second. Adjacent is two meters per second. The units cancel out as they should. So this is just uh, four divided by two, that's two. So the arc tangent of two. And that is equal to 63.4 degrees. So the, the, launch, the launch angle over here, 63.4. And that was part C. All right, so ECPC. Uh, so for this problem, we, use concepts, right? The knowledge that uh, the physics applies, you know, it is the same, but applies independently in orthogonal directions. So in X, there's nothing to accelerate. There's no force. So the velocity always remains the same. In the Y axis, you have gravity um, pulling down all the time. And so the Y component of the velocity is always changing, as you can see here. Um, it changes in uh, predictable ways. You have zero seconds here, one seconds here. So you can do uh, the, the per second change uh, from the definition of the acceleration, the vectorial definition. And then we use um, some trigonometry to get the, the angle. So, you know, fairly, the math is really simple. 
and the physics, it's at least uh, intuitive, right? All right, so I hope you learn a lot. Thank you.